Do you ever find in your practice, your matches, your podding is really good. However, the moment you come towards the end of your finish, you make a crucial mistake. Either you miss the pot or you play a bad position or shot. In this video, I'm gonna solve that problem and give you some easy practice routines that will help you improve your positional play. Imagine you're in a match and you've got to pot your final red to get on the eight ball. Which of these five shots would you play? This one is A, straight through the gap between the yellows with top spin. This one is B, lots of right hand side, off the cushion on the eight ball. Here's C, just a little hold for the eight ball and play the double into the middle pocket, just like this. What about D, just screw back, no side, one cushion. And finally, E, little bit of stun and left hand side. What about this? I need to get on the eight ball. I'm gonna play this with a little bit of bottom and left hand side through the gap between the red and the black. But is that the right shot? The problem with this shot is look at the gap. It's very small. There's a likelihood we could do that. Instead, play for areas. Play where there's a much bigger chance that you can get position on your ball. Same with this position. That looks fine. However, under pressure, wouldn't it be much easier just to play this. You've got so much more room for error. Same with this shot. I mean, this looks perfect. It's got on the eight ball, great. But look at the area, the tiny area we've, we've got to get into. What if we go a little bit too far? We're snookered by the yellow. If we don't come far enough, we've got a really tough cut or we're snookered again. So instead, the simple solution, think about what we're doing. We know the eight ball goes into the right hand pocket, just play up the line. This way, we've got an area the size of almost the whole table that we can be in. We can get there, we're perfect. We can be right the way down here, and we're still on the eight ball. So it's all about uh, thinking about where you need to get that cue ball. In order to improve your positional play, why not try setting up a very simple routine to begin with? This is something that a beginner or even intermediate level should do. So it's just three yellows from top to bottom and all you're doing is potting them in a row. You can use cushions, you can uh, play it with anything you like, top spin, back spin. But then as you improve and you can do that particular drill, Try adding more balls. So in this one, I've added three reds and three yellows. What it does is it gives you the opportunity to understand how hard you need to hit each ball, whether you need to play with top spin and a little bit of side like that, for example, to get on your next yellow. And then as you improve, you can add more balls to make it more difficult. And the great thing about something as simple as this is that you can do so much with it. It's not just potting the balls and using cushions. You could make it even harder by uh, doing these routines and you're not allowed to hit the cushions, for example. Um, here you can see where I'm playing on the white ball, just below centre. Here, just above centre. So no side required at all. Uh, on this next shot, you'll see I'm actually playing it just above center with a little bit of right hand side. There you can see me on the cue ball, just a little bit of right hand side so it comes off the cushion and doesn't go in off. And then the next shot, you can see that I'm playing bottom and a little bit of left hand side to swing the right round the table. Here, unfortunately, I've landed a little bit straight. So look at where I'm aiming now, bottom and left hand side so that I can actually get the cue ball to come back off the cushion 
I needed two goes there, but unfortunately I didn't hit it hard enough. So I've left myself a tricky cut into the bottom, which I've got. You can also try something like this, which is all about your touch. So all we're doing here is trying to pop the reds in order using just bottom. So just a little bit of bottom on each shot. This is a really good exercise for your cubal control. And again, I've added seven reds, but as a beginner, you can start with one and two and intermediate three, four, five. And just depending on your level and how much time you've got to put in, uh, you can practice until you improve. So this is the routine that we were doing earlier. And I'm trying to pop all of the yellows without hitting a cushion with the cue ball. So again, this is testing your cue ball control and the pace in which you hit the pots. These are just a, a few routines that you can try, um, but there's so much that you can get out of them. Uh, and obviously you can mix them up. Here you can see it from a different angle. Top spin on that one. Again, top spin just above center for this one. Just a little push through. There we see it go in. So it's just showing you that you can get these routines without having to play any side if need be. Um, and good luck. So I hope this video has given you some ideas and different practice routines that you can try to improve your own positional play. And just remember that um, it really does just come down to practice, making up your own routines, trying different things and just working out where the balls actually go once you've hit them. Um, and remember, try and keep things simple, and good luck.